Have you ever wondered what's inside a hair dryer and how it works? Today, we're taking one apart to show you all the components hidden inside this everyday device. Some of these might surprise you. Hair dryers have been around for decades, helping us style our hair quickly and efficiently. But have you ever thought about what makes them blow out hot air? In this video, we're going to break down the inner workings of a hair dryer and explain how each component plays a role in the process. Let's get started. The two switches beside the handle are for heat and fan speed control. These are two-way rocker switches. The back of the hair dryer usually has a vent with a filter. This prevents dust and hair from getting inside and damaging the motor or fan. Also, it prevents any insects getting inside the dryer. The front cover fulfills the same purpose and also prevents people from getting an electric shock. The air funnel directs the airflow to the front of the hairdryer. A small but powerful DC motor is connected to the fan blade. The motor drives the fan blades, draws air from the back of the hairdryer, and pushes it forward through the front. Most hair dryers use a coiled nichrome wire as the heating element. Nichrome is a metal alloy that heats up when electricity passes through it. As air flows over this wire, it becomes hot before exiting the dryer. It has high melting point, and it forms a protective chromium oxide layer when heated, preventing further oxidation. Mica sheets hold the heating elements apart and give them the shape they need for good heat distribution. The base to which the power cable is connected has a protective circuit. This circuit consists of a fuse and a high voltage capacitor to protect the internal components from short circuits and power surges. The live wire is connected to the common terminal of the first switch. One output of this switch is connected to the cathode of a diode. The other output is connected to the anode of this diode, the fan motor, and the common pin of the heating element switch. The diode in series will cut the AC wave in half. This causes the heating element and fan to operate at a lower voltage, resulting in less heat and lower fan speed. However, if the common pin is connected to the other pin, the current is fed directly to the motor and the heating elements. The second switch is used to select the heating element to be switched on. The motor is supplied with power through a full bridge rectifier. This converts the AC voltage into a DC voltage so that the motor can operate at optimum speed. This heating element is connected in series with the motor and acts as a resistor that reduces the voltage to the motor. The neutral wire is connected to one end of each heating element. To prevent overheating, hair dryers have a safety feature called a bimetallic strip. If the dryer gets too hot, this strip bends and shuts off the circuit, stopping the dryer from working until it cools down. There are different types of hair dryers today. Even if these hair dryers use different types of heating materials and motors, the principle of operation remains the same. This is what the air flow inside the hair dryer looks like when only the fan is switched on. This is what the air flow inside the hair dryer looks like when each heating element is switched on. As you can see, the air gets hotter as it passes through the heating elements. Modern hair dryers are compact, efficient, and practical. Most of them operated with DC current and equipped with microcontrollers to precisely regulate temperature, airflow, and motor speed. It continuously monitors and adjusts the heating element to prevent extreme heat damage while maintaining efficient dry. The credit for the invention of the first hair dryer goes to Alexander Ferdinand Godefroy, a French salon owner who produced a massive appliance in 1888. In 1920, however, the Racine Universal Motor Company introduced the first portable electric hairdryer. These early models were further developed by Gabriel Kazangian, who used heated air to dry hair. And that's what's inside a hairdryer and how it works. So next time you use a hairdryer, you'll know exactly how it works. If you found this breakdown interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what other gadgets you'd like me to take apart next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.